Hello friends, welcome to Sandeep's Biology. So in this video, I'll be talking about the process of gluconeogenesis. So the gluconeogenesis is just a reverse process of glycolysis and the process of glycolysis I have already written here and we will reverse it back and we will produce glucose. So before talking about these reactions, let's just see some information related to gluconeogenesis. So gluconeogenesis, it is made up of three different words. Gluco means glucose, neo means new, and genesis means origin. So that is the production of glucose from some new source. That means that the production of glucose from the source other than the carbohydrate. So, non-carbohydrate source. Production of glucose from non-carbohydrate source are known as gluconeogenesis. And these non-carbohydrate sources are protein, so several glucogenic amino acids are there which can produce glucose, lipids, and glycerol can produce glucose by the process of gluconeogenesis then pyruvate and lactate are non-carbohydrate source from which we can produce glucose through the process of gluconeogenesis so let's see the process reverse of the glycolysis process so in the case of anaerobic glycolysis lactate is produced and which can reverse back to pyruvate through the enzyme lactate dehydrogenase right so that is a reversible reaction but from pyruvate to phosphoenol pyruvate is irreversible reaction that is catalyzed by pyruvate kinase so there is some mechanism to produce phosphoenol pyruvate from pyruvate so first Oxaloacetate is formed. Oxaloacetate is formed through the enzyme called pyruvate carboxylase. And here ATP is used and ADP is produced and carbon dioxide is also used. So Oxaloacetate is produced from pyruvate through the enzyme. The reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme called pyruvate carboxylase and here ATP and carbon dioxide is used. And now this oxaloacetate is converted into phosphoenol pyruvate through the enzyme called phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase. And in this process, GTP is used. So GTP is used and GDP is produced. And carbon dioxide is released. So now we have phosphoenol pyruvate, right? So from pyruvate to oxaloacetate and oxaloacetate to phosphoenol pyruvate. So we have phosphoenol pyruvate and now this phosphoenol pyruvate can produce 2-phosphoglycerate. Right? The enzyme catalyzing this reaction is enolase and it is reversible reaction. This reaction is also reversible. So now can now this process can go on, right? Up to here. To produce fructose 6-phosphate from fructose 1,6-bisphosphate, we need some other enzyme because phosphofructokinase cannot catalyze the reverse reaction, right? So here other enzyme is used which is known as fructose 1,6 bisphosphatase so the enzyme is known as fructose 1,6 bisphosphatase and in the process of glycolysis ATP is used and ADP is produced but here inorganic 
phosphate is released and H2O is used right again this is reversible reaction so fructose 6 phosphate can produce glucose 6 phosphate catalyzed by the reaction is catalyzed by phospho exos isomerase again this reaction is irreversible so there is another enzyme called glucose 6 phosphatase right the enzyme is glucose 6 phosphatase and in the reaction that is catalyzed by exokinase enzyme ATP is used but here inorganic phosphate is produced and H2O is used so these two are irreversible reactions and the enzyme that is used in glycolysis which will not work in the case of this reverse process several other enzymes are needed so in the process of gluconeogenesis most of the enzymes are of the same that is used in glycolysis process but several enzymes are different like pyruvate carboxylase phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase and fructose 1,6 bisphosphatase and glucose 6-phosphatase so these are several different enzymes and all other enzymes are the same so gluconeogenesis is just a reverse process of glycolysis several enzymes are different so that is about gluconeogenesis i hope this video is helpful if you are watching this video till here please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel thank you for watching